In this video today, I'm going to show you how to get ready before we get started in analyzing the data. First, we want to go download the data set. We're going to download the data set from a website called Kaggle. Kaggle is basically a website where a lot of people post problems with data and data scientists can go on there, download the data, and solve this problem. So you can see in the competitions tab, there's a lot of ongoing competitions, and these are actually for prize money. Once you get onto Kaggle, search for Titanic, which is the data set we're going to use for this video. Go to data. You want to click download all. So I have already have that downloaded. You want to place it somewhere where it's easy to find. And then you want to install the dependencies. In this series of tutorials, we're going to be using Jupyter Notebook. It's a very common tool for data scientists. It's very useful for visualizations. To use Jupyter Notebook, the easiest way is download Anaconda. We we'll post all of these links below. Make sure you download the Python 3.7 version. Hit download. I've already had that downloaded. And in your applications folder, you're going to see Anaconda Navigator, which is going to look something like this. Then from this page, you want to download Jupyter Notebook. So at first, this wouldn't be installed. It would look something like this, and you want to install it and then launch it. Once you're in Jupyter Notebook, you're going to see all the files from your root directory. Go to wherever you store the data set at. For me, I stored it on my desktop under this folder. It should be pretty easy to navigate from there. So here you'll be able to see. Oops, let me just delete that. So I've been doing some tests, that is why I have more files than here. At first, you should only be able to see these three files. So these are the files you're going to work with. The train.csv file is going to contain what we'll later use as training data. The test.csv file is going to be almost identical as the train.csv, except for it's going to have one missing column, and that is the ground truth value, which is what we're going to predict for. And this gender submission file, well, whenever you aren't sure about what the file means, you can always go to the Kaggle kernel and look up what the file is supposed to do. So for example, here it says, the gender submission file is an example of what a submission file will look like. And these are predictions, assume only female passengers survive. So we'll look at what that means in future videos. It's basically saying, I'm going to predict survived for all female passengers. So whenever I see a data point, if the sex column says female, I'm going to predict survived, which is one, which is not a good model, but this is just for demonstration purposes. Once you navigate to your downloaded directory, you want to create a new file. You should be able to see Python 3 here. Click new. And here you have your Jupyter Notebook file. Name that whatever, data analysis. So the last thing you want to do before I end this video is to make sure you can import all the libraries. To do that, just type in import pandas as pd. This line is going to import a library called pandas which we'll use a lot in this tutorial. And it's very common in data science to use it as a data analysis tool and data visualization. So the second thing you want to check is import sklearn. sklearn is also a great library where there's a lot of built-in models. At first, you don't want to build models yourself. There are a lot of great libraries with out-of-the-box wheels that you can use. sklearn is one of them includes almost all the most common popular models and it's very useful for someone to build a simple model and get quick results. There are also more complex things that you can do with it and a lot of the times you can get really good results with this library. I'm going to end this video here. In the following videos, I'm going to start exploring data 
show you how you can use these two libraries to first analyze data and build a working model on the Titanic dataset. Have a great day.